Hello everyone, welcome to the upfront. The Supreme Court has recently issued a crucial verdict making it clear that the practice of demolishing homes, buildings and properties under the guise of bulldozer justice cannot continue unchecked. The court has proposed establishing guidelines to prevent such actions emphasizing that the destruction of movable and immovable properties is not permissible even if someone is found guilty let alone merely accused Proper procedures must be followed before any demolition and the court has directed petitioners to provide the necessary instructions against this practice. The so-called bulldozer raj represents a widespread form of state violence largely targeting Muslims and other marginalized communities. The practice which began under the Yogi Adityanath government in Uttar Pradesh has been adopted by other states including Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Haryana, Assam, Maharashtra and Uttarakhand. Disturbingly, decorated bulldozers have been paraded in cultural processions with chief ministers proudly accepting titles like bulldozer mama and bulldozer baba boasting about these actions as achievements of their administration. The Supreme Court intervened following petitions filed by Jamiyat Ulama Hind against the demolition of Muslim homes and businesses in Jahangirpuri, Delhi and New Haryana as well as petitions from the victims in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. The court has now appointed a lawyer to gather and compile suggestions from the petitioners. These demolitions do not just destroy homes they shatter the security and savings that families have built over their lifetimes the practice of bulldozing homes gained momentum during protest against citizenship amendments with the primary objective being to psychologically and economically break down communities deemed undesirable It is estimated that in just 2 years around 1 and 1/2 lakh houses have been demolished leaving more than 7 and 1/2 lakh people homeless families burdened with children and poverty are left to sleep by the roadside or in makeshift tents exposed to harsh elements tragically their rehabilitation is not on the agenda In many cases demolitions are carried out under fabricated charges and allegations of illegal construction often without giving victims enough time to remove their belongings For example in Jahangirpuri clashes erupted following provocations by the right wing groups during a Hanuman Jayanti procession In the name of taking action against trouble makers bulldozers targeted and destroyed the homes and shops of muslims demolitions are often time to take place in the evenings or on the holidays preventing any legal recourse and some homes were demolished despite existing stay order One notable example of vindictive bulldozer justice is the demolition of a student leader Afreen Fatima's house in Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh. Her mother's legally constructed home was demolished under the pretext of a protest against blasphemous remark made by a BJP spokesperson. The justification was based on a fabricated complaint with forged documents used to carry out the demolition. The court has now directed that demolitions must not proceed without following proper legal procedures even if the construction in question is deemed illegal. While justice delayed is often justice denied this intervention offers hope to those living in fear of losing their homes
all the belated this ruling is a welcome step in protecting the rights and dignity of those who have already suffered so much that's all for today if you like the content we provide please subscribe to the upfront and press the bell icon to get notification of all our updates please share our videos and educate others thank you